pump pumps up through this line into the top of my bio filter. My bio filter is made with a 32 gallon Rubbermaid trash barrel. You can see I've got a drain valve down at the bottom. It's got a squirrel filter chamber at the bottom. It's packed with media, great biological filtration. Right now I have 150 fingerling tilapia in this tank. The bio load is very low. The tank is completely cycled though, and I do have about 10 parts per million uh, nitrate inside the system. Now I added some grow beds. It starts over here with a couple of air pumps. One of the air pumps goes into the intake tube of the bio filter, drops all the way down to the bottom and aerates as the water bubbles up through the filter to help promote growth of uh, nitrifying bacteria. The other, I've got a bigger air pump runs into this little four-way splitter and I split the airflow between my four grow tanks. The grow tanks are made out of, uh, oh, they're about 20 gallons each, I suppose. There are uh, plastic mortar mixing tubs that I got from Home Depot. I've got two-inch styrofoam on the top to float my little net pots in. Uh, I've got aeration and current going into the main tank. And then kind of trickling in here, I've got water that comes into this tank. There's four-way drains. Each tank drains into the two adjoining grow beds. And you can see I've only got one grow bed. It's slightly planted here. I'm trying to sprout some mint plants in it. But they all drain to the low end here, which is this tank. I'll lift this up so you can see. You see the aeration? coming up from the air stone, and then I've got a little drain. The water gets up to the top of that drain. That's why I don't have a basket in that particular hole. Uh, it's kind of a Frankenstein system. I've got it all su su suspended on top of concrete block supports, and I had to use a bunch of scrap lumber to kind of shim things up to make it level. My ground is not level and so the supports weren't level. And besides that, my wood frame, I made it out of two by fours and they're warped, so I had to do some redneck engineering to get everything basically level, but it seems to be working pretty good at this point. I've got 35 tilapia in there by my best count. Uh, they're about seven, seven and a half inches on average. I've got some that are pushing 10 inches, some that are closer to six inches, but uh, I estimate there's a good 10 or 12 pounds worth of tilapia in this 150 gallon aerator tank, which is my fish tank. The fish tank drains into two settling tanks, kind of settle some of the solids out, and I've got water hyacinth in there to suck out some of the nitrate. And then uh, I also have a grow bed that's in my sump, which is a 70-gallon paddle trough that I got at uh, the local feed store. Right now I've got a few tomatoes, I've got some mint, I've got some basil, I've got a couple of, uh, well, I've got three bell peppers and three cayenne peppers and a couple of, what you call them, like, uh, they make, uh, Anyway, everything seems to be doing good. Both tanks are, are totally cycled. The ammonia is zero. The nitrites are zero. The nitrates in this tank, and this is why I put transplanted plants in here to start it off. Nitrates are up, uh, oh, I get probably close to 200 parts per million. More plants will probably be better. I can move this around and add a couple more little uh, strips with the uh, grow media in it there. Over here, this tank with a lighter bio load only has about 10 parts per million uh, nitrates in it. But I do have a few plants in there to start uh, pulling those out as well. Go back over to this tank. I just fed uh, my big tilapia. The little ones hide. It's hard to see them. Right now, because there's a lot of fish poop floating in it after the fish seem to really like to poop after they feed. I've got my little over here as well, and uh, 
um, good aeration. We'll drop this down here. hard to get good iron uptake in the plant, so I'm going to be adding some chelated iron. Uh, it's a chelated iron seaweed mix called Maxi Crop. Uh, I bought it from a local hydroponics store. So hopefully that will help some of the plants uh, green up nice. Uh, I just put these sprigs of mint. They're not rooted yet, but uh, already I see a couple of them have small roots starting to poke out. And they're not really wilting. We've been fortunate and we've had some cloudy days here. So since I transplanted these, they haven't really wilted. And I'm hoping by the time the sun comes out, they'll be looking good. I've also started a bunch of seedlings. I've got about 14 different varieties of plants that I'm going to be planting into this system. And I'll be updating you soon. <laughs> 